Hey there, my friends! Welcome back to our three-part series of how to use how to parse JSON into your app, into your iOS app. So, in part one of this series, we cover what is JSON, what is our complete project looks like. It looks like this, and how we can create JSON, how we can import JSON from our existing project. Okay, all of that we talk in part one. I hope that you already watched that. If you haven't. Click the link below this video. You will find uh, goes to my blog, and you can see all of the listed episodes over there for you. Okay, so in part two, this videos we are going to learn how we can turn that data, how we can get the data from this file or from the internet. Okay, and then we turn that into our um, foundation object from JSON into foundation objects, meaning. From all of these cryptic code into arrays, dictionaries, string, uh, variables, um, things like NSURL and numbers. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to over. Um, let me see. So now what I want to do is inside our model we can have a episode over here. And I want to have a function, and let's say this function is we will imitate that we want to download data from the internet. We want to call our server from maybe from a URL, REST API URL, right? Usually you have that a URL to download JSON data from. So we want to do something like that. We want to create a function or a method from that. Uh, URL. We want to download the data, and then from the data, it's usually in uh, in the terms of NS data in the form of NS data, and then from the NS data, we turn that into JSON, and then from JSON, we turn that into foundation object. Okay, so let's do this. I will have inside the episode dot Swift. I will have static static func like this, and we will call download. All episodes like this, and then it returns an array of episode epi episodes like that, right? Now notice that um, this is an array of episode, and the episode class we already created, so it's in here for you. All of these is just boilerplate code; doesn't have anything to do with JSON. Okay. Then first, I will create an array of empty episodes like this. Okay, and then after that, we in this project because I want I don't want to talk more about like uh diction, I'm sorry about the internet stuff how to download data from the internet because that is outside of the scope of this series. But um, so we want to use this data over here that we got from part number one the uh, my block Duke's block dot JSON. It's our JSON. So I will get that from our NS. Bundle, but now after I write these two lines of code, and then I will display, uh, I will tell you that just replace that line of code with another function that I could already create for you in this project. Then you can download any kind of JSON data from just a single URL. Yeah, from a single URL that you got from uh, your REST API. Okay, so let's have this. Let's JSON file equals NS bundle, which is the bundle of our project. Gosh, NS bundle like that. Dot main bundle dot path for resource. So the resource here is the block. Okay, and of type we use JSON. Cool. And then from this file we can have like JSON data, which is the data from the file is NS data. Contents of file, and the file is JSON file, and because it is a string optional, it is the path to the file. So we have to ungrab that because we know that the file inside our project. So we don't have to worry about crashing our app here. Oh, below here, I will just return the episode right now so that we can shut down that error. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, over here it should be open and close parentheses. So we got the JSON data, and then after this line, we will turn the data into foundation object. And by foundation object, I mean 
or an array of episodes. And by foundation object, I mean things like dictionary, array, um, string, op optionals, all of those things, right? So the JSON data. Now, why do we have these two lines? Because we want to get data from the file. But what if you, you ask me, what if I want to download data from a internet, from the internet, I have a URL for, from my REST API, how I can do this, right? Well, I already prepared a class for you here called network service. And you would find out that this network service, you just need a single URL. Then you can call this method, okay, this method, uh, it says download image, but actually it can do any kind of thing because from the URL over here, it can download your data, put it into an instance of the NS data over here. And that, guess what? That NS data is exactly like this. So it's just the matter of this line number 33 or not, right? Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Now let's turn this data into foundation objects. So in order to do that, I will write another function in the network service. Let's do that because it relates to parsing. Um, how about I will do it below here, okay, in the episodes. Let me see. Um, because now what I'm thinking about is we want to translate from JSON data into foundation object. So let's do that into our network service because it's related to data, downloading data. So we should have parsing data also, right? So I'll have an extension for the network service like that. Okay. And then inside this, we have a static func, a static function called parse JSON from data. And the JSON data is NS data, right? optional and this will return a dictionary of string to any object uh, question mark because we maybe it is nil and we don't know about data that it passed into us right so for those data we have to be really be careful because especially when data you download from the internet maybe that data is is broken it cannot it is in the wrong format or maybe that is a blank file we don't know about that so we have to be careful with this okay so now if let's data if we do have the data is json data then we do something we do okay this do block is uh, we tell swift to just do the thing that inside this because we are going to let's json dictionary equals so i have try over here sorry guys i have to interrupt because the ups guy just stopped by so we have try because now if you don't know about throwing errors and catching errors in swift then here's the chance for you to learn this because this we have to call to a method called and as json serialization i know this mouthful but uh and then dot json object with data now this is mouthful but believe it or not which is one single method like this it can help you to turn every json data into json dictionary into foundation object and you will love this so much so from the data here is our data right and then the option is press enter we have ns json reading options dot mutable containers it means that it turns that into arrays dictionaries strings those things and we can change those data also okay so mutable containers and then because we have the try over here and the ns json serialization json object with data data options all of those things it can throw an error some errors may be like your json data isn't in the correct format or some things happen during the process of parsing right so we have to catch let error as an ns error like this then we have the error so i will print a line over here error processing json data and we have error dot description or localized description like that okay then we just report that into the console. Maybe you want to do an alert view over there, but we are doing a demo, so. 
All right, so now we have the JSON dictionary. So let's return this JSON dictionary. Okay, it's just that simple. And we cast this as a string to any object like that. Okay. Oh, this is return, not return, return, return the JSON dictionary. And remember that we have to cast it over here from the string to any object. Okay. Otherwise, if we don't have a data, then I would just return nil because we do not have the data. So we just return nil, right? So that's that. That's how we can create the data, how we can download data from JSON. Now let's see. Um, okay, I will just put a build over here. Okay. All right. So that's that how you can finally how you can from the NS data from the data of your JSON file, you turn it into a dictionary into foundation objects that you can actually use in your project. Now, our final job is from this data from the JSON data, let's call that okay. So I will have if let I will just return back from uh, download on episode in the episode of Swift. So we have if let um, JSON dictionary dictionary equals uh, let's see network service dot pause JSON from data and now data is JSON data right so now we do have our JSON data I'm sorry our JSON dictionary so our final job is how we can parsing this we have a dictionary over here already so let's print this guy out to the console okay so JSON dictionary just for us to see how it looks like so I will print this to the console oops I have to turn this off and run it with iPhone 6s just because uh, all of my project using iPhone 6s so So here's our project so far and we open that okay but now when you look at this we open the project nothing happened why is that well as it turns out because this is just a function inside the episode that swift we didn't call that ever so we don't have the data obviously so i will go over the episodes tail view controller over here in the view did load i'm going to count episode episode dot episode equals episode with the capital e dot download all episodes and then of course after we got the change in our data source then we have to do tail view dot reload data now remember that you must that you must call the tail view dot reload data otherwise you will not see your data on the screen okay a lot of people are, have this problem so just in case that you have that also so here's our project now right now we don't have any cells the reason for that is we didn't put the episodes we don't return anything we just want to print out our dictionary over here and ladies and gentlemen you will see our dictionaries Okay, we have the episodes array over here and then the author all of those things okay looks good right and we'll have so have the feet all of those things so that's it for part number two because it has been long so i want to put it into three parts now in part number three we are going to learn how on earth from these cryptic data yes we know that it is a dictionary yes we know it is foundation object but how we can turn that into episode into an episode like this and then grab it into a array of episodes and put it back on a tail view that is all we will talk about in part number three of this series so i hope that you enjoyed this and if you have any questions feel free to post it right down below or you enjoy this and as always go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world. I'll see you in part three.